Yay! What's up, fam? My name is Richie from Social Small Bean here. The smallest of the small beans. Bestiality is illegal. And, you know, I put up with a lot of shit on the internet. Alright? Being, being somebody who's really into social media, who interacts with a lot of people on the internet on a daily basis, I see a lot of weird shit. I see a lot of things that I want to unsee. But ever since I started dating a fellow YouTuber by the name of Jacqueline Glenn, I've kind of gone down a little bit of a rabbit hole because I'm just gonna be honest here, a good portion of her audience are middle-aged men because of the atheist thing. You know how middle-aged men can get. They don't they, they don't understand the internet. They don't understand how to um, be a civilized human being and approach a woman in a way that's respectful. Instead, they just um they're just kind of giant pieces of shit when it comes to attractive women. I've noticed Jacqueline's Instagram is pretty good. There's a lot of support. A lot of my fans have come over. Everyone's very nice to her. Um, on YouTube, same thing besides the whole religious thing, which people get people get pretty mad about that. But the thing that I've realized since I've known Jacqueline is her Facebook page is just kind of this giant cesspool of middle-aged men doing all kinds of things to her pictures. And they let you know in the comments. They, they really do. Uh, and I wish they would stop. And today we're going to read some of those comments and uh, try and get to the root of all of this. Now before I start, I'm going to acknowledge that I'm not blurring out the names, mainly because it takes a while to edit that, but also because I don't believe in, in covering the tracks of these guys. If they're going to be gross on the internet and blatantly inappropriate, and they know we're dating, then I couldn't care less for uh, exposing them, if you will. Okay, so here is a pretty recent selfie of Jacqueline. She just went to a crystal healing center for a video or production she's doing, and she's commenting on how the crystal looks like a chicken breast. Pretty innocent enough. Besides the fact that you see a tiny little bit of cleavage that, uh, apparently triggered everyone. See, now, the comments on this picture aren't actually that raunchy. Like, for instance, this one from Victor. You make atheism look hot. Pretty inoffensive enough. But then you scroll down and you find comments like this. Those crystals must really work. I mean, they make your breasts look bigger and everything. Smiley face. Kill yourself. Here's another seemingly inoffensive picture. It's of Jacqueline when she was much younger, I'm assuming under the age of 10, with her cat, and then of her now in uh, my living room. Now, any normal person would refrain from making creepy comments on this photo, uh, because obviously it's her when she's younger and now, and there is just so much room to, to be awful. But of course, one of the first comments on this picture uh, from John, sexy as fuck, I would ruin you for any other man or woman for that matter, yummins. I'm trying to fathom if this is a real person. Yep, it, it definitely, definitely looks like a real person to me. All right, gross. This is a selfie of Jacqueline just in her, uh, in her living room. And, uh, first comment, nice tatas by Phil. That's, uh, that's a very nice, constructive comment there, Phil. Just imagine, just, hey girl, nice tatas. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now this photo is slightly more suggestive. She's doing a promotion for an underwear company with a with, with a pizza pattern, and she so cleverly was eating a piece of pizza with that, and uh, you know, looking looking great as always. But you go to the comment section, and it's not. Oh, you're so pretty. You're so great. Looking nice, babe. And my favorite on this picture: Are they edible? There's a follow-up question based on the answer. What the fuck is the follow-up question, Matthew? Nah, man, he's just a sweet, innocent guy with his, with his dog. I'm sure he meant nothing by asking if my girlfriend's underwear were edible. Here's another photo on her Facebook, and of course, first comment, you are definitely a sexy little shit. Thanks, John, for, uh, for, for, for chiming in again. R really appreciate it. Please do another bikini photo shoot soon. Get sluttier and sluttier by the day. I just want to be sitting behind the person as they're typing that and just being like, what, like, what are you trying to accomplish but by typing this on someone's photo? I don't understand. And again, I don't understand catcalling, but this is, like, a step further because it's immortalized on the internet. Another selfie from my living room, you can tell because there's the gunpowder in the corner. I must say, your hair is so sensuous, dark, attractive, lush. I wish I could smell it. Probably fruity. <laughs> you have the most beautiful electric eyes in the world. See now, I'm sure this person maybe meant well, but like that comes off as super creepy 
telling a random person you don't know on the internet that you want to smell their hair because it looks nice. That's weird. In this picture, also in my living room, she's giving a shout out to a crystal company for a necklace that sports a crystal that hangs low. And her caption is just talking about that. Uh, but of course, Joseph back at it again, bro. Sure does provide a convenient excuse for all the people to stare at. I mean, study. I mean, occasionally glance at your recently acquired Dakota and hanging shiny jewelry. That there is your permission for us to gape and salivate. Jesus, dude. I mean, to nonchalantly gaze and make witty small talk. Am I going to burn in hell for this? Kill yourself. This one's not even suggestive at all. She's just smiling at the camera. First comment. Nude soon? Buh. I'm a middle-aged man who's sexually frustrated and takes it out on cute girls on the internet because I'm kind of a little, a little retarded, a little, little bit, a little, little retarded. This one's one of my favorites. We, we took this one at a Playlist Live in Orlando. Uh, this, one, this one's from Lorne. 20 years from now, you look at this picture and wonder the same thing we all are. What is that thing standing beside me? The answer to this, the thing that you wish you were, bro. The caption to this photo, happy kitty mama day to all the kitty mamas out there. Real cute, she's explaining that her cats are kind of her symbolic children. But of course, people can't stop there. You, you, ha you have to go with the pussy jokes, let's find them. So far, they're pretty good, so, f uh, okay, here we go. Doo doo. <laughs> Doo doo. Too easy. One might say that you're grabbing the pussy. One might say that you're grabbing the pussy. <laughs> I really like this photo of Jacqueline. It's very sensual, but not too suggestive. And some of the comments are really nice. Looking gorgeous, hard eyes, so fine. Well, okay, but that one. But then of course, John, back at it again. How is such a good looking woman hooked up with such a half gay dude? That's why you're meh. That and your issues with Jesus. Hey, John. Kill yourself! And of course, another photo of Jacqueline holding a cat, because she's really into cats, almost as into cats as me. And she asked everyone else to post photos of their cats, and most people did that. Super cute. Oh my god. Cats everywhere. But then the very last comment from Ian. So is it offensive to say, nice rack, or nice pussycat? You tell me, Ian. Does that sound offensive to you, you piece of shit? And one last comment I grabbed from YouTube, I originally was only going to use Facebook comments, but this one was too good not to put in on her most recent video. From Brad, I'm willing to keep your girlfriend warm and cozy, minus any coitus provided. She can stop like a vegan and refrain from reminding the world that she's an atheist for more than once every 24 hours. She is cute and god, I'm a good, good people though. Creepy, not intended. So yeah, I'm just gonna take your girl, you know, Minus any coitus, you know, it's, I'm, I'm not being a creep though. Totally, totally not a creep. Kill yourself. Anyway, those are all the comments that I pulled for this video. Have you had any experience with uh, middle-aged men being creepy on the internet? Please, please let me know in the comments down below. I would, I would love to hear it. And I also love how they justify it. They're just like, oh, you know, I was just caught up in the moment. Yeah, okay, dude, tell that to your failing marriage and kids. By the way, I'm going in October for all of October this fall where the weather's real nice. Uh, in the United States, the ticket link is right here. You can, uh, you can see all the dates where um, I'm going to be playing stuff on my new record that has yet to be released uh, along with all my old stuff. And uh, I'd appreciate to, uh, to meet you guys in person. And that's all I got. Stay sad, but not too sad. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Yay. Yeah.